On January 15th, President Ilham Aliyev met with the NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen. At a press conference following the meeting, President Aliyev thanked for invitation. During the conference, the President answered the questions from journalists. In response to a Radio Liberty correspondent's question, last time you said here in Brussels that there were no political prisoners in Azerbaijan. Mr. Mamadov and Mr. Mamadli are still in prison. Can you still confirm that there are no political prisoners in Azerbaijan? President Aliyev said. In January last year, the Council of Europe held a broad discussion on this issue. The resolutions on political prisoners in Azerbaijan proposed by some members of the Assembly were not adopted. The vast majority of the Assembly did not support those resolutions. This means that what I said here in the European Commission last year has been confirmed by the organization which is considered one of the most influential institutions in Europe and the world. However, Azerbaijani human rights defenders do not agree with President Aliyev's statements that there are no political prisoners in Azerbaijan. According to the head of the Human Rights Club Rasul Jafarov in October of 2013, they prepared a list of political prisoners in Azerbaijan which totaled 142 people. The head of the Public Alliance Azerbaijan without political prisoners Elshan Hasanov also noted that in 2013 alone 33 journalists, bloggers, youth activists and opposition party members were arrested for political reasons in Azerbaijan. The total number of political prisoners according to the alliance is more than 140 people. Representatives of 60 NGOs of Azerbaijan adopted a new appeal to the head of state with a call not to sign the recent reactionary amendments to the legislation, toughening and complicating the already difficult conditions for non-governmental organizations and to continue previously initiated dialogue between the authorities and civil society. We know that you understand and appreciate the role of civil society and non-governmental organizations in nation building, read the appeal. On January 17th, Baku Appellate Court heard former Health Minister Ali Insanov's appeal against a penitentiary service of the Minister of Justice. During the hearing, Insanov lay all the blame for lawlessness he had faced on the Justice Minister Fikrat Mehmetov. He has done that under auspices of his cousin Ilham Aliyev. Let him come to my trial and answer my questions, said Insanov. After his speech, the hearing was postponed on the basis of absence of the defendant. Note that Ali Insanov was arrested in 2005 and sentenced to 11 years in jail for economic offenses. Advisor to the Musavat Party chairman Yadigar Sadigov intends to appeal against a six-year prison sentence passed on him on January 13, 2014. According to his lawyer Khalid Bagirov, the appeal will be prepared after getting a copy of the verdict. Sadiga was arrested last June on charges of hooliganism committed with the use of a weapon or subject used as a weapon. On January 17th, Sabahel DC Court heard journalist Paris Ashmali's motion for replacement of his pre-trial detention sentence with house arrest. The journalist's request was denied in a closed court hearing presided by Judge Aitan Aliyeva. Paris Ashmali was detained on September 17, 2013 and is accused of gun smuggling. The journalist is currently in custody of the Minister of National Security.